Hello, and welcome to my PowerPoint. Uh, as you can see, the title of this video is Let's Build and Host a Website in 10 Minutes. My, my name is Paul Miller. Hello. If you look at the, uh, the splits, I've already attempted this, and it took 19 minutes. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to put that on you. I don't want to say, oh, I was explaining myself and I could do it faster. Uh, I want to make a website in 10 minutes or what is even the point? Okay. So here we go again. You're not going to see the first recording because it was trash. You're going to see the good one where I'm going to do a website in 10 minutes. And it, you know what? If I have to sacrifice some explanation, I'm going to do it. Okay, so before we start, you're going to need some tools. You're going to need a GitHub account. This is free. You can uh, get it with an email address. Uh, it's, it's great. Microsoft would love to have you. You'll need a Vercel account. So GitHub is for storing code. Vercel is for hosting the website. Uh, Vercel, uh, you can sign up for Vercel with your GitHub account uh, because you're going to want to integrate them anyways. So that might be... A way to go. So, GitHub, I've already signed in. For sell, I've already signed in. Uh, so set those up. That's that's your first task. Doesn't count on the timer. Let's not be ridiculous. Then you're gonna need these three tools. You're gonna need VS Code. Uh, I'm on Linux. This is works on uh, Mac and Windows. Thank you, Microsoft again. You're gonna need. Uh, Node.js, this is going to run code uh, locally so you can uh, test out your website. So I'd uh, install the current version and my, eh, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, and Git, so GitHub is a place, a hub of Gits. Git is for version control, distributed version control system. Brought to you by the dude who created Linux. So it's good. All right. So that is the toolkit. That's what we need. And here we go. Let's reset the timer. And go. All right. Step one. Create the project on Vercel and import the Next.js template. So on Vercel, if you import a project, you can do it from an existing Git repository or from a, one of their templates. I like Next.js. This is my favorite. Uh, there's a ton of them. Do whatever you want, but if you want to follow this, you're going to use Next.js. So you click that. It might ask you, hey, you got to link up your GitHub because this is going to create a repository on GitHub for you. So we'll call this how to 10 minutes two, because I already did one before. <laughs> okay, continue. It's going to create this repository, uh, and it's actually going to deploy it. It's going to look like this. So just let them, let them do their thinking. I'll close some of these tabs. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. How are we doing? We're at one minute already. I think we're already gaining time on the last time. So just, there we go. Okay, so we now have this project on Vercel called How to 10 Minutes. And I also have a Git repository called How to 10 Minutes too. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's see, let's go to How to 10 Minutes. All right, so it's github.com slash my username slash How to 10 Minutes too. This is a private repository. Here's the code that they copied in. Uh, this is, they're creating this initial commit. They're gonna deploy my website for me right now. And, oh, I can visit it. All right, I have created the repo uh, split. Okay, so this is a website. <clears throat> it exists on the internet, how to 10 minutes to dot now dot sh. Uh, you can point a domain that you own or you can buy a domain and then that will be the URL. Uh, but we want to make some changes. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to take this, see clone or download, you can download a zip, but we want the actual Git repository. Uh, so you can just copy this whole URL. Um, I'm going to open my command line. You could do this right from VS Code. When you open a VS Code in an empty window, you'll have like some button over here, like clone a repo. Uh, but I'm going to do it from the command line because that's what I'm comfortable with. So git clone, how to 10 minutes to. All right, I'm, I can't size that up. Um, okay, and then, I'm going to open that up in code, or you can use buttons and click around in a GUI like a normal person. Uh, like I said, I just prefer the command line. So let's size this up so you all can see what's going on. So this is the code. This is the same code that was on GitHub, right? So let's see, we cloned the repo, split. All right, now we're going to make some changes to the website. So. This is the website right here. Look at that glorious code. And so there's some weird JavaScript up here that you don't need to understand right now. And there's a lot of CSS. You don't need to understand that. We're just gonna make some changes to HTML. And this HTML inside, sandwich inside of this weird stuff is just like regular HTML. So let's just delete everything inside of main make a uh, an h1 hello this is paul's website and save that let's delete the footer so that's going to be the content of our website and then we're going to change the title paul's cool website all right now i'm going to open up a terminal in vs code it's up here a new terminal and i uh, need to run a couple commands to test this out. So we're going to npm install, and that's going, remember we installed npm when we installed node, right? That it's the command line utility that comes with node. Uh, and this installs all the JavaScript dependencies that, that, that allow us to run this. Then we're going to do npm run dev. And that's going to start up a local server. And now we can preview what we're doing. So if I uh, make a change, question mark. Hello, this is Paul's website. Oh, we made some, okay, so we made some changes, all right? So this is our website, it's Paul's cool website. Um, so let's split that. All right, now we're gonna commit the changes. So this is to save our work and we give a name to our saved work. So uh, deleted everything. Oh, oh, oh. And so when we hit commit, it will add and commit all these changes. Um, it, it will probably warn you, do you want to stage everything? And just say yes. Just say yes to all. Commit. All right. So now we see there are zero upstream changes up in our GitHub repository in the cloud. There's nothing to pull down, but we have something locally that hasn't been pushed up. So when we click this, we'll synchronize push and pull commits to our, the master branch of our GitHub repository. All right, so now that's synced up to GitHub. So we committed the changes, so the split. Okay, so now if we go on here, hit refresh, should show, yeah, there's this new commit, deleted everything, LOL. And there's this little orange dot. Vercel was watching our repository for new changes that we push. When we do push, it creates a new deployment of our website. So if we go on Vercel, and it's done. <laughs> so now we go visit how to 10, 10 minutes to dot not at sh. Changes are live. Wow, 645. Okay, so I feel pretty good about that. Wow, that, what a time save. I don't know why it doesn't like say how it should show me like green splits or something like that. Um, okay, I'll I'll work on that. So let's just uh, let's just review what we did. Let's see if my slides okay. 
So we created the project on Vercel and we used the Next.js template. And that's what created the repository on GitHub for us and deployed a website just right there. Uh, you'll probably need to do some like integration of GitHub, but that should all be pretty straightforward. And they've got lots of documentation if you get stuck. So then we cloned the repo locally. And remember, I used the command line uh, and I cloned it to a local folder. Uh, but you could also just open up VS Code in an empty window. Um, and there should be some sort of option like clone repository if you have Git installed. And if you don't have Git installed, it might actually help you install Git. So you clone the repository and that saves uh, 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 GitHub, well, wherever, that, wherever that's at. You save this GitHub repository to your computer so you can make some local changes. Um, make some changes, right? We just edited HTML. This is right in here. There's weird stuff up here. There's some weird stuff down here, uh, but this is just HTML. Uh, so you can just change it. Um, if it breaks, um, uh, you know, you can test out. Remember, you had to do npm install to get all the, um, so that you can test it locally, and then npm run dev. And that starts up the local development server. So you can see your changes. If it breaks, it will give you some errors and stuff. Like if I like leave off this tag, it should say, oops, unterminated JSX contents. And that sounds scary, but I just forgot to close this HTML tag. Lots of happy with my changes. See, I don't have any changes right now because this is the same. Hello, this is... Hello, is still this Paul's website? So if I make that change, it shows up right here. I can commit it. Another change. Commit it up here. Say yes. Synchronize my changes. Then that goes back up to GitHub. Um, do, 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 do. And I'll just wait on Vercel for the for the new deployment. Um, and then if I, if I look at my domains, let's see, where are my domains? Let's see, domains. What's one that I'm not using? Bob is got all these right now. But I've got a bunch of domains here, or you can buy a new domain right here, and then you just point it. Uh, point it at right here. You just type in the domain, add it, and it will it'll help you set it up. Uh, and then you have a real website that you control. Nobody can take it away from you, except for, I guess, for sale. <laughs> but I think they're pretty chill. Where did it go? How to 10 minutes to dot now dot sh. So that's, uh, that's how to make a website in six minutes and 45 seconds. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I know this is really brief. I want to dive into a lot of these things. I'll, people want to learn JavaScript or HTML or CSS. That'd be fun to teach. Uh, Git is a whole thing. And you know, using it with GitHub is also some stuff to that. Um, Node is how we run our JavaScript. This code is pretty straightforward. It's just a text editor with like some version control stuff built in. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this was educational. Oh, wait. Make the website, commit your changes. Good job. You're a webmaster now.